Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I am Reggie and it's that time of year again and I am packing for the yarn and falafel meetup in Tel Aviv. So just like I did last year, I'm going to flip my camera, show you guys what I am packing to bring with me. And if there's anything that uh, someone who is preparing to come to the meetup uh, fancy, then uh, you can leave me a comment down below and let me know and I'll set it aside for you. And uh, also this way you can see what I'm bringing and think uh, what you can bring to swap yarn with me. So uh, I am going to flip my camera and show you everything that I have packed this year. Okay, so you recognize this. This is my famous purple yarn bag and here is everything that I'm going to fill it up with this year. Um, here I have a bag full of different kinds of sari silk. This is a very special yarn. It is a recycled sari that uh, was made into sort of like Similar to t-shirt yarn, only it's uh, sari, so it's made out of silk. It is a little bit shiny, it has a lot of different colors in it, and I also have different kinds. Um, so I have a bag full of it. I myself have made a hat out of it, and I will pop a picture of that hat here. So you can see what you can make with that yarn. It's just one example out of many, but for those of you who make uh, baskets or bags or different kind of accessories, that yarn is just perfect for that. Right next to it, we have this Long Yarns Splash. It is a uh, cotton acrylic uh, blend. And you can see that it has a very interesting texture. This will make a wonderful, wonderful uh, fabric when you uh, knit or crochet up with it. Uh, I had several balls of this and I made a hat <laughs> out of uh, several. Uh, funny, uh, I, it, I, I promise I don't only make hats, but it just so happens uh, that these specific interesting yarns, uh, I really like to use them to make uh, different hats and then you get really special hats and I just like hats. So uh, this one has 100 grams and 250 meters of each ball and I have two of these that will be coming with me. And then here I have this amazing wine red yarn. Uh, I have, as you can see, sweater quantities of it. It is an alpaca merino blend and I have 10 hanks. It is DK weight, definitely enough for a big project. Uh, those of you who like to make, you know, sweaters and so on, perfect yarn for that. It is amazingly soft. I believe, if I remember correctly, that it has two different kinds of alpaca in uh, in the yarn and then uh, superwash merino. Really, really soft. Very, very nice yarn. I love this yarn. I've made several things out of this yarn and uh, I just, I bought a lot of it because I really loved it and have so much of it left. So I'm bringing that one with me. Here I have uh, two skeins of fingering weight, 100%, uh, no, it's actually 99% superwash merino and 1% polyamide, which is uh, the sparkle that you see. So uh, it has a sparkle in it and uh, yeah, and as I said, it is fingering weight, so two hanks of that. And then I have four hanks of this beauty. Um, let me show it to you. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? So once again, I have four hanks of this. Definitely enough to make a bigger project. And then here I have four hanks of this uh, Autumn Wool Harmony. Um, it is 41% wool, 26% alpaca, 23% tensile, and 10% baby camel. Worsted weight, 150 yards or 137 meters in 100 grams. 
and I have three in that uh, sort of camo color and one in the gray. Um, my initial idea was to mix them all together in some project. I just never got to it. So if those colors speak to you, this might be your yarn. And I have three hanks of this. This is Audin Wool's Mellow. And it is 80% alpaca and 20% tensile, bulky weight. So 100 grams, 114 meters in each hank. And I have three, two are this gray and one is this blue. So, you know, I don't know, maybe like a beanie and cow, maybe a chunky uh, scarf, something manly, I don't know. So if this yarn speaks to you, there it is. And then I have some uh, what I like to call wandering hanks, <laughs> single hanks. Uh, one of them is this Audin wool uh, super fine sock, I think it's called. 80% um, superwash merino and 20% nylon, fingering weight 100 grams, 365 meters in this amazing safety orange. And I have Vita Lana uh, Linen Jewel. I actually love this yarn uh, in this color. I had several hanks of it and I made a shawl out of it. Um, I will pop a picture here or maybe even a few pictures of the shawl that I made with this yarn. I love it, uh, but since I made a shawl with it, I only have one hank left because I used all the rest of this uh, for the shawl. So if you have an idea of what to make with one of these, this is 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk, fingering weight 100 grams, 365 meters. Beautiful and amazingly nice yarn. I really, really love this yarn. Uh, was uh, When I was subscribed to Knit Crate, this was one of my uh, favorite, uh, actually, uh, very, it was a very successful box, <laughs> the, the one this came in. And then I have this... Uh, Audin Wool's Indulgent Sock, which is 60% uh, Superwash Merino, 20% Camel, and 20% Nylon, again in fingering weight, um, 100 grams of 400, uh, maybe a little less, 365 meters, and uh, very nice, very soft in this like uh, sand color. All right, so here it is, once again. That is everything that I am bringing with me this time for swapping. So if you are coming to the meetup and you see anything here that you would like and have anything that you would like to swap, then I will be at the meetup with all this yarn looking for uh, new yarns to swap these for. Uh, if you watch my channel regularly, then you kind of probably ha already have an idea of what I like, which is pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, I like color, I like, uh, you know, variegated, speckled, um, bright colors, dark colors. Uh, I really, really, like, there's rarely anything that I do not like. So, um, you know, just get out those uh, single hanks that you have or those like odd ones or ones you bought and didn't really use and bring them to the meetup to swap with me and of course i'm also bringing this bag full of yarn i don't know if you guys can see but it is full packed full of yarn and this bag will actually be going to donations to the good eye ein tova um, knitting circles um, if you live in Israel, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't live in Israel, uh, then I will maybe leave uh, some kind of link in the description box below if I can find, and if not, then I will quickly explain that those are knitting circles that were started uh, in the hotels for the people who were forced uh, to leave their homes due to the war because the war zone is uh, too close to their homes because they live right on the border, in their, either in the north of Israel or right on the Gaza Strip. So they were forced uh, to evacuate from their homes and they have been living for 
over seven months now uh, in different hotels. And there is this initiative started in the hotels of uh, knitting circles and they're always looking for donations. So I will be bringing this bag full of yarn with me uh, to donate. Okay, so this is everything. I am going to pack it into the bag now and I hope to see those of you who are from Israel or in Israel right now at the meetup. Uh, feel free to leave me comments if there's any of these yarns that uh, spark your interest um, or if you just want to say something about the yarn and falafel meetup um, I would love to hear it. All right, see you all next time. Bye!